Well, the other wheel came off easier, but man, this side is even more rusted than the other side. It's in worse shape. You can see, like, I'm rubbing here pretty bad. Ugh. Probably want to go get uh, some... I don't know, it's just going to rub off all the time. So annoying. Um, yeah, so... So, uh, you know, you also have these spider webs around here that don't want to come off with the air gun. And, uh... Alright, start, uh... Start cleaning this side up. Okay, through the miracle of uh, accelerated video, you saw me clean this one, so it turned out pretty good. Uh, I'm sure there's some spots in the back that I missed, but whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and start painting this one now. Uh, yeah, let's start painting this one now, and then we'll do the second coat on the other side, and then I'll just hop back on this one. And I know the times are like off, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, so let's hop to it. That side is, I'm about ready to get started on that side again. This, this side is done. So I made sure and turned the steering wheel the other way this time and I was able to get some more spots. Looks like, I don't think I might need to add some more there. We'll do it on the second uh, thing. But there it is. It's really, I don't know. You know, it looks just like a, you. it would look like if you spray painted it. So, all right, so we're going to go get started on the other side. But that's kind of how that one look, turned out. Um, this one I had some trouble with the um, with the brush, the the little hairs on the brush. Um, they they kept on coming off and sticking to the caliper, and I had to like peel them off sometimes. You'll see that in, in the in the movie a couple times. Um, but yeah, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, started on the second coat on the other side. Oh, okay. So there it is. It's done. 
all good. So, uh, yeah, so I kind of like touched up some of the spots that I missed before. There was a spot behind the caliper. It's it's hard to get to all the parts. Um, it, it's more time consuming to, to brush paint it um, than to just take everything out and then spray paint it. <laughs> um, yeah, do yourself a favor and. Yeah, actually, it's not too bad. If you take the um, if you take the pads off, um, it uh, yeah, basically you'd have to take the the calipers off and then the pads and then and then they can get somewhere up under here and then spray paint it. And I think that would be easier. I think this makes a good touch up paint is what it makes a good good for though. So if this ever like flakes off or anything, I can just brush it on and that'll be. No problem. Probably just hit it up with some brake parts cleaner, and then uh, and then just paint paint it because uh, the brake parts cleaner is kind of like a degreaser sort of. So uh, so yeah. So there it is. That's it. It's done. That's the finished product. Uh, it looks uh, way better than it did before. If unless you like rust colored brakes, you know uh, I don't. You know I'd rather have them just normal metal color. <laughs> but uh. But those AutoZone calipers were just rusting like crazy, and I just couldn't stand looking at it anymore. So anyway, so the car is like super murdered out now. It's going to have black wheels and black calipers. <laughs> I thought about painting them red, but I'm like, mm, yeah. <laughs> the back ones I'll have, I'll save for another day. Um, the back ones should be easier for smaller. So, but uh, but you can't move the you can't move the wheel around like uh, like you can on the on the thing so maybe you could just do the front one the front of it or something I think one of these needed a need a new boot too I just gonna have to remember to like take it apart and re-grease it every once in a while but yeah man this car it's hard finding parts for this car man uh, <laughs> so uh, so now this I've got the second coat on this done uh, we've just got to do the second um, we got to do the second coat on the other side but we'll, we'll give that another like half hour to to dry a little bit because I kind of just put it on right now um, yeah so so there it is all right let's make up I'll uh, I'll show you the finished product uh, when I get the wheels on but uh, but that's pretty much it for the the driver's side right there or the left side it looks uh, it looks pretty good um, let's take a look at the ones on the clips all right, so these I painted a long time ago, and this looks like they're due for a for a, um, a, a touch up. Uh, yeah, so a lot of the paint is coming off here. I probably just get the wire brush and just wire wire that up a little bit, um, and then yeah, definitely get some brake parts cleaner to get rid of all that brake dust. Um, the the calipers are pretty new on the Gallant, so they didn't have a whole lot of brake dust. Um, but maybe you'll get lucky, and if you use the air gun, you can blow some of it off. Just make sure you don't inhale that stuff. It's nasty. But uh, yeah, this one could definitely use a touch-up. Uh, I don't know. I even I even painted the hubs on this <laughs> on the on the brake loader. So so this one has pretty much come off. All pretty much all of it has come off. Um, these I painted a long time ago. I think. So yeah, um, but they're not rusting. Is a good thing. They still look okay, but the, yeah, the paint is definitely coming off. Uh, if it, it could use just a little touch up, then that's what that, that's what I think that uh, that bottle's good for. That uh, that paint is good to touch up. Uh, it's not really good to uh, to paint it uh, unless unless you don't want to take the calipers off like me. So um, you know, it's a uh, it's okay, I guess. It's up to you for how you want to do it, but uh, the benefit of doing it this way is you don't have to take the um, you don't have to take the caliper off. And like even if you got I got some paint on the rotors and the pads, it's, it's okay. Don't worry about it. it. It'll it'll burn off eventually. Um, them rotors get real hot, so um, yeah. So so it's pretty nice. Uh, the Glant now has like the black calipers. And it has like the black oxide coated uh, rotors, so hopefully they stay black. They don't look rusty. So far they look okay. They they've kind of turned into like a gunmetal color actually. <laughs> um, plus uh, plus that wheel got stuck. This wheel got stuck. So what I might do is I might put some anti seize on the back of the wheel when I put it back on. 
so that doesn't happen again. Like, that was kind of annoying. I just imagine if I had to take that off in like an emergency situation. Um, all right, so I'll show you the the finished product when the wheels are back on the car. Uh, we still got to do the other side, and then that should be it. Uh, also, right, if you're wondering uh, where I got the brushes from, I got these from Harbor Freight. Uh, you can buy a big bag of them for like less than five bucks or something. So that's why I'm just I'm kind of just using it and throwing it away. I think it, I think that was the right choice. Um, now, if you were using um, if you were gonna paint like a caliper that was like totally smooth, like like this, like this Brembo caliper here. This Brembo caliper is pretty smooth. Oh, I've seen smoother. Yeah, usually the Brembo ones are pretty smooth. Yeah, if I was gonna paint this, I would probably use a foam brush. That's what I'm thinking. Um, what I'm wanting to do on these um, rotors here are paint the Brembo um, logo red. So that might be pretty good. That might be good to use a foam foam brush with. Um, yeah. But I just want to paint just the Brembo, not not the whole thing. So that might turn out pretty good for that. Uh, or I could just use a paint pen. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe a paint pen would be easier to use. Um, yeah. So see how see how this is pretty smooth. If I was gonna paint this, I would probably use a foam brush. Um, I don't know. I don't, but I don't know how that would turn out if I use those. I think they call them acid brushes. They're more like brushing on flux or something. Shop brushes. Heavy duty horsehair bristles handle everything from glue to flux. Yeah, yeah. It's not really. These brushes aren't really meant for painting. Is what, <laughs> what I'm gonna say. Um, but I use them anyway. They're, they're cheap, and you know they get the job done. And I don't really, it doesn't really need to look super pretty. That's, that's what I'm saying. I just keep them in the box here. So um, they're handy for like uh, putting, yeah, like putting glue on stuff. You know, and it's it's you got a lot of them, so you just you just throw it away when you're done with it. Same thing with these. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you can't. Well, you probably could clean it. You'll probably clean it with some paint thinner. But I'm just gonna chuck them after. Um, uh, probably really hard to clean now. They're really hard. Yeah, they get really hard after a while. I could probably still use this one here. It's still soft, but yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, that's those are the brushes that I used. Um, um, I'd like to try a foam brush sometime. Those are, those are more expensive though. Um, I think the foam, the foam might be better. It might be easier to put it on because uh because you could just kind of like press it on the certain places that are hard to reach, um, and it would, it might go on smoother. I don't know, but but see, that's the finish right there. Yeah, you can see brush strokes. That sucks, man. That's the only crappy thing. You see, you can see the brush strokes from here. See, I was brushing this direction right here. So that's the problem with using this, is you get brush strokes. Um, so. Uh, if you were gonna do, I think if you're gonna do the whole caliper, uh, honestly, I would just take the damn caliper off and spray paint it. Um, spray painting is the best way. It's the way I've always done it. I wanted to try this way though to see you know how it was, and it's okay, but it doesn't turn out the best. But hey, it's a brake rotor. It's not. It's a it's a brake caliper. It's not like a fancy freaking Brembo caliper or anything. So I I'm, I'm not. I don't really care. It, it's fine as long as it doesn't look rusty anymore. That's that's all I care about. <laughs> so, but but I think it would look better if I used a, if I used a spray paint. Um, so I think this is a good touch-up paint. Is what this is. That would make a good touch-up paint. Um, if uh, if you sprayed it on and then and then like later it started flaking off like on the eclipse. So um, and then uh, and then you could use that to touch it up. You don't necessarily have to take it off and spray the whole thing again. You know. You just like kind of clean up the area that you need to touch up and then just brush it on so that's what that would be good for i don't really know what else you could use this stuff for uh yeah i thought about painting the whole knuckle <laughs> painting the whole knuckle black um but yeah it's, it's supposed to be for brake calipers it comes on it it goes on pretty thick it's not very thin either so it's the kind of odd thing also all right, I'll, you guys will see what it looks like uh, when I get the wheels. On. I think I'm just gonna put the wheels on, and I, I don't see any, I don't see any reason why not to put the wheel back on. Uh, you know, it's not gonna touch it or anything, so I just won't drive it. You know, 
Uh, it says to let it, I think it says to let it dry for a whole day. Let me look at the instructions here. Um, here. To achieve the best results, you should use the Pore 15 Cleaner Degreaser Metal Prep and Rust Preventative Paint before applying this coating. Stir thoroughly and apply the first coat in thin but even strokes. When the first coat is dry, three to four hours, apply a second coat to achieve a beautiful ceramic-like finish. Let dry 24 hours before reassembling wheels and operating vehicle. Well, we'll put the wheels back on. I don't see any reason why not to. Um, and then we just won't drive it. You know, that's all. I not, don't plan on driving it, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, so put it... Um, even yeah, even coat is is the um, the important part. Just brush it on and then don't brush it on and brush it well, I would brush it on thick, you know, so that way you get good coverage on it and then and then just don't touch it anymore, you know. But like there's a lot of parts like I'm surprised that it, it doesn't look thick in a lot of places though. I, I must have brushed it on pretty good, so I don't know. Um, but we'll see how it looks like uh, when it dries. Looks like it dries pretty good. Okay, it is Omega here. It is the next day, and uh, and so I'm pretty sure the paint has dried by now. And uh, so there it is. That's the final. That's the final look right there. It uh, looks hell of a lot better than it did before. <laughs> unless you go for unless you go for that uh, that rust colored look. Now I need to wash my car. It's super dirty. But, uh, but there it is. Cool dealy. some video of it. it I think it turned out it turned out really good actually we'll have to see how it turns out when it goes through a couple heat cycles so I know the calipers get really hot um, so as you can see there's brush strokes <laughs> yeah yeah you can tell there's brush strokes but it, I think it turned out really good it, it's like I said I want I wasn't going for anything like super pretty or anything I just wanted to get rid of that rust look you know um, if anything you know I if they had some kind of clear kind of paint to put on it I would just do that <laughs> um, like whatever um, whatever coating there was on uh, whatever coating there was on um, on the the brackets it did not rust I don't know why the brackets didn't rust but the the calipers didn't I know I mean I bought the brackets somewhere else. They were Outlander calipers from Thebest, I think, is the brand name. It's some brand from China, and uh, and it did not rust. I don't know what kind of coating they put on it, but it worked pretty good. So here's the other side. I think it turned out pretty, really good. It's pretty shiny. Uh, I'd imagine once they get covered with brake dust, they'll probably uh, probably dull up a little bit. But I think it turned out really well. I got a little bit of extra on the rotor there you can see but uh, it does doesn't actually match the wheel the wheels not really that black um, the, the the paint is the uh, the caliper paint is darker than the wheel black um, the black is just kind of like a I don't know it's not a not as black black is what I'm gonna say it's more like uh, actually this paint on the wheel is more like the paint on the Galan um, the, the paint on the Galan is like a it's kind of like a really um, metallic-y black, so if they had a metallic black, that's probably what the one I wanted to go for. But like I said, uh, like I said, the the main reason I painted the rotors and the uh, the calipers in the first place is so they don't get rusty again. Um, if I if I'd stripped off all the the it actually looked pretty good after I cleaned it up. I you know no complaints, but uh, but I do knew I knew it was gonna rust again, so the best thing to keep it do. To keep it from rusting is to paint it, so that's what I did. Um, they, they, the, they don't use uh, aluminum calipers on these uh, on these cars, um, at least not yeah, not not, not the Galant Vera Four. <laughs> so so they will rust. They will rust if you don't paint them. So um, that's just the way it is. So so I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Uh, maybe I will do a follow up video in the future and then uh, we'll see how they turn out after uh, some miles. Uh, I am taking the car to to mod tomorrow. We're we're going we're going to uh, Cyprus, California. I think it was at Cyprus uh, where the Mitsubishi uh, the Mitsubishi um, headquarters is for North America. 
and they have a, something called mod there and it's Mitsubishi owners day and since I figure I'm gonna go sell this car probably next year when I have to smog it again I will uh, I will take it to mod once so take it home <laughs> take it to mod I don't know how many times this car has been the mod it may have been there in its past but uh it's coming back 2018 all right so so that is the Hades Omega's uh, caliper uh, caliper painting vlog with the pour 15 caliper paint uh, I think it turned out pretty good uh, like I mentioned yesterday it's a lot easier to just spray paint it and I think it would look better if you spray paint it but like I said it's their calipers the, you know you know they're, it's behind the wheel you can really can't see it all that well so that's fine for me um, as long as it doesn't look rusty so I still got to do the back ones but the back ones aren't all super rusty like the like the front were so I'm not tripping on it too much in fact they already look kind of black already I don't know why it's probably just dirt or something you know um, all right so there it is cool deal uh, maybe I'll, I'll post some pictures of the end results or the um, the uh, each stage I took a couple pictures along the way so uh, we'll go over those real quick at the end of this uh, video all right here's my go All right, Hayes Omega here. Oh, I wanted to do a video with how many cars are in the driveway, but people keep on parking here, damn it. Um, so I just got back from Mod maybe like two days ago, and uh, I, I had the I detailed the Gallant, so it's all nice and shiny now. But like, there's crap all over it coming off of this stupid tree. But uh, anyway, I wanted to do an update on the. Uh, on the calipers so i i drove this thing through tuna canyon latigo canyon and on the snake on the way back so i thoroughly heated those suckers up they were really hot um i remember a tuna canyon tuna canyon's a really steep downhill and i kind of overheated the brakes a little bit so so they got like super hot so so this is a i just wanted to do a little update video on it uh, i haven't finished the 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 vlog yet so I'm just gonna add it but yeah it's just basically it looks exactly the same look at that it's pretty much the same when, when from when I left it still still you can still see brush strokes and stuff unfortunately so that's one of the drawbacks I see there's a little there's a little hair here from the brush dang this is the this is the right side yeah they look good um, there's a there's brake dust on it though but uh that's to be expected <laughs> yeah so I, I pretty much I did a thousand miles um, I went to Mitsubishi Owners Day which is in LA and that's like a thousand miles uh, it's 500 miles both ways so yeah man these uh, tires are rubbing on the fender big time I have to raise this car up a little bit it's it's scraping pretty bad under hard cornering this is pretty much what I, the only thing I do with this car man <laughs> um, but yeah it still looks great good job uh, this is after I, I washed the car too so you can see there's some, some little water spots on it but it, it looks good it's not rusting is the important part so there you go that's a little update uh, after a thousand miles and a lot of uh, heat cycling works uh it's good stuff hopefully uh hopefully it lasts a long long time maybe i will do an update on this on that maybe in like a year or something all right well, there it is feast your eye on uh, clean oh it used to be clean anyways i clay barred it it's nice and smooth now it's got wax on it so it's got something to protect the paint now but uh, it's still uh, chipping pretty bad, the clear coat. It's going to need a repaint. Alright, here we go.